Good evening, everybody. Hope you're all having a really nice weekend so far. So, unfortunately, I've had, um, well, fortunately, I've had the snare drum for a while, but unfortunately, I was playing it the other day, and uh, it just, um, one of the rivets inside of the actual snare throw-off that kind of, you know, moves the arm, um, it just snapped right off, unfortunately. So, anybody that's ever played a Superphonic or a Black Beauty, this is my big black bob pork pie snare drum. I think it's brass over, if it's a bob snare drum, I'm, so, I'm assuming that must mean brass over, or black over brass. And it's like a black nickel snare. If anybody knows, I'd actually like to know the answer to that. You have to look that up. But uh, anyway, it's pork pie's take on the uh, Ludwig Black Beauty, I believe, because I think the Black Magic Again, if anybody knows, obviously correct me. I think the Black Magic had like actual like etching in the shell. Um, but anyways, so either way, it's their take on it, very similar to the Superphonic. Um, so it's a beautiful snare drum, but the uh, the mechanism went the other day, and I happen to have this uh, pearl throw off that uh, fellow at our local music store. He uh, he does repairs and he knows you know. I like to take care of drums and fix them up when I can, so he gave me the snare part. And, um, yeah, it's from a Pearl, I'm assuming, well, yeah, it says Pearl on it. It's a really heavy-duty, nice throw-off, but, um, I didn't even think, um, even though the holes perfectly match up to the old throw-off, I wasn't really thinking that, because this is a beaded shell, like I was saying, if you've ever played Superphonic or anything, it's got that bead that runs along the center of the shell. And this throw-off is just it's a, for a flat shell. Um, so I've been trying to figure out what to do, and I ended up getting some, uh, just some plastic space, some nylon spacers. I was going to use steel ones, but the shortest ones they had at our hardware store around here, would, it would have made the throw-off just stick out way too much. Even these, I think I could have brought it in another, maybe even quarter of an inch or so, to bring it closer to the shell. But, uh, knock on wood, so far, the way I've got it on there, it needs to be holding out. So, enough of my rambling, I'm going to give it a try. Finally put a uh, ambassador snare head on, back on the drum. I was trying out a uh, controlled sound for a while, black dot, coated black dot, but, uh, I like it, you know, to be as open as possible. And I already colored my little, logo, my little pork pie logo on the inside of it, like I like to do to all my drums. Along with my custom pork pie sweater here that I had made years ago. But, um, yeah. I hope you guys like it. I hope my snare drum sounds good to you guys. You know, there's some amazing drummers out there on YouTube, so... And they, know, they really know what they're doing, and I learn a lot from those guys, especially. Um... So I'm always in search of that perfect snare tone, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like it. I was using, again, I know I'm kind of rambling, but uh, kind of excited to really give this a go now. Um, while this was, while I was trying to repair this, I've been using my uh, pork pie, I think it's a 13 by seven, um, pig light amber snare drum. I forgot how really nice this snare drum actually sounds. It's a very nice snare drum. It's like, it's how I like a snare to sound. This one's a little lower pitch and not quite a, um... I'm really not sure what that sound is that I always try to describe. It's almost like a reggae snare. Or if you were playing an electric drum kit, it'd be on like usually the funk setting, right? A really high pitched snare. This one has it. And even though it's only a one inch difference, I do like to have a 14 here. It's just, you know, I'm sure a lot of drummers would agree that's why a lot of us have 14 inch snare drums. It's just a good size for snare. Um, again, I hope you guys really like it because. I really like uh, and appreciate a lot of your guys' drum sounds out there.